Afternoon, the vlogger has returned. I'm back. Okay, I've not been doing them on a daily basis. Busy life, busy work. You just know how it is, okay? Right, got my tea by me, so I'm ready for action. Right, students, they're going a bit haywire, are they not? Near and outside, near and outside, near Parliament yesterday, students had demonstrated about the increase on student loans going up to 9,000 per year. I can sympathise, yes I do sympathise with the majority of students. I think a, a good education is a right. Um, I think it's actually wrong to charge students loans to better themselves, to get a better education, so that they can have, end up with a better job. I just think it's wrong. I think what the government should be doing is um, encouraging people, young folk, to go to university, college. <sighs> brain freeze! Yeah, right, brain freeze. <laughs> Encouraging people to go to university. One, the way I see it, how it should work out, is government invest in young people, let them go to university, not charging them any loans, fees, not to force them into debt before they've even got the first job, which is absolutely ridiculous. Britain is such a debt-ridden society. That would absolutely petrify me. Imagine going to college for five, five, not college, university for five years, and you've got to pay loans at 9,000 pound per year, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, <gasps> that's a lot. That that's a lot of money. That is a lot of dough to be, a lot of debt to be in before you even have your first job. What the government should be doing is get them into university, invest invest in the young people. Once they finish university, get them the jobs that they've studied for. Let them pay back into British society after those years of educating them in the first place, allow them to, to do that kind of work for say three to four years, if not five years, and then after the fifth year, let them go and do the job that they're actually wanting to do. That way they can recoup, that way that, that they're going to be filling up the, the, the what's it called? The, the employee gap, the professional gap, a lot of high tech jobs out there and they can't fill them because people have not educated. So get the youngsters educated without giving them bloody loans. Once they're educated, fill the posts, let them work there for two to th between two and five years. That way the government's getting what it's wanting, the students are getting what they're wanting. Invest in the young people of Britain today. Christ, I'm beginning to sound like a politician, sorry. Uh, students, uh, for those crazy ones yesterday who pff, wrecked uh, vehicles yesterday in London, central London, near the parliament, that's not the way to do things. I'm all for um, demonstrations, peaceful demonstrations, but I've got, to, I've been thinking about this. I mean, what, what does demonstrations do? Demonstrations only highlight the plight of people who are demonstrating for their causes. Alright, you've heard of Walk for Work, demonstrate for better paid conditions and all the rest of it. There's going to be another demonstration on the 30th of November and the, the student, student governing bodies, I think it is, are trying to get the trade unions involved. Well, I'm sure if the trade unions had any sense, they don't want to get involved with this because of the nutters that have been going around wrecking London yesterday. That's not a way to win your argument whatsoever. They're just going to put you down as hoodlums and... Uh, uh, hoodlums? Where the hell did that come from? Hooligans, lock you up, and if you're going to get locked up for the damage that you've caused, it's your own bloody faults. You're going to ruin your own future, and you're not going to get into university. So what's the point of bloody doing that? I don't know what the answer is, but I certainly know it's not violent. Not violent 
actions whatsoever. You're going about it the wrong way, and yet, watching Sky News yesterday, and the few students that they did, did interview moaned and complained that they were being contained. The reason for being containment is so, yes, so as the police can tr control the situation without any other further damage, injury to anybody else. It's as simple as that, and yet, the students that were moaning about the containment, oh, there's no food, there's no toilets. Well, you should have known that before you even started throwing stuff about wrecked cars and all the rest of it. No sympathy for you there. Definitely not. And that's the vlogger, and that's my rant for today on students. Wake up to yourselves. Right. Edinburgh's come up with a, a suggestion. The Great Edinburgh District. Great Edinburgh City Council, not a district. City Council. They are going to trial you rhinos out in the street for the people are coming out mainly men prob yeah mainly men coming out of the pubs clubs late at night early hours of the morning so you're going to get all these drunken guys coming out of the pub at, after closing time and all the rest of it what walk down uh, some streets some of the, the, the streets the grass market for example that's been nominated they're going to put urinals out in the grass market street so as the guys can have a leak and public <sighs> yeah can you see the complications there I certainly can uh, <laughs> can you imagine a guy going out the pub sub-zero conditions after two o'clock in the morning gagging for a pee whoops it out <laughs> minus five <laughs> I don't want to even think about it. Absolutely stupid idea, Edinburgh City Council. Urinals out in the street. Oh, Scottish referees. That's, this is Random Rant Thursday. I like it. Random Rant Thursday. That's what this vlog's all about. Scottish referees. You are going to strike this Saturday for the football. What utter plonkers yet? Why are they going on strike? Because they're fed up of people moaning about them. From club managers, to the fans, to the team captains. That's why they're going on strike. Because they're fed up of people moaning about their inconsistence refereeing at a game. Christ, if I went out on strike because people moaned at me at my work, well, have we all done that? None of us would have a bloody job, would we? Referees, get your whistles out your arse and put it back in your... No, no. Just get back to work. Don't be so flimmin' stupid. These are adult men. Act like it. And that's the rant for today. Pile. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> the ranter, the vlogger, back in style.